Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Like always, you have the queen be with me. Uh, like always, I uh, start off. Not always, but I would start off like to God be go around nothing. Uh, welcome, like the youth, no Molly, and uh, I. I am uh, trying to give y'all what I learn on the fly. What I mean by that is, it's like uh, every day, repetition is something that is, repetitiveness is something that will get burnt out, it will get tiresome, it will get frustrating, it will become exhausting at times, but without repetition, you have any, you have nothing at all. You know, without, without the repetition, without the Repetition of waking up every morning, you have no life without the representation. I mean, without the repetition of you, you making mistakes, you have no blessings, you have no lessons, you you have none of these things. But uh, I I want to talk about the repetition or the repeating of doing good things because sometimes that's like the most exhausting thing to possibly do and we always was told that you know it's easy you know you go to church you get saved your life is going to be beautiful you you take your shahada you become muslim your life is going to be absolutely beautiful and the and the reality of it is is that on all slates that on all ends of the spectrum is is it's not true the reality of it is, is that in order for things to get better, in order for things to get greater, you have to increase the amount of great things that you do. Now that, once again, like always, I, I tell people like always, it, it sounds really, really easy, or you could take it like it sounds really, really hard, depending on how you look at it and what your viewpoint and, and your understanding of it is at the time. But the reality of it is, is eventually you will get to a place where repeating things for the sole purpose of doing them for a good reason will become easier. And when you get there, miraculously enough, whether you believe me or not, your life will get easier. <laughs> and even though I'm talking to the youth or my youth or even though I'm talking to the people who God has bestowed upon me to talk to, I am myself learning that as we speak today. So you say, how can you tell me something that you learning today and expect me to get it because you can get it today and not have to wait until you're my age to get it? It's very simple. That part is simple. Or you can wait till you get my age and then get it. And then, you know, you, you'll be exactly where I'm at right now in my life. Talking to you. You know, and not saying that you 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 won't be talking to someone uh, about something when you get to my age. But hopefully it'll be something more positive than... You know, trying to get someone to understand that there's a better way or a better output or a better, you know, transition to doing things at a better scale than that in which we did. Uh, I'm learning about attention spans, and one of the things that I'm learning about attention spans is that people younger than me have shorter ones than I do, and I have a very short one. So, as it ticks and talks to about five minutes, I, I will say bonjour. <laughs> I will say good day and um, good afternoon. And remember, like always, uh, I'm learning to be a person of love and for the sole purpose of being a purpose for love, there are some times where people or people of love who will get misled and get misdone but if you continue to 
be a loving, caring person and you will continue to see love. You will continue to, to be in love. You continue to have love grow. And whatever capacity the God and understanding wants to develop. Most importantly, I mean, second, know that you have a great day on purpose, not because you got paid or not because you met the woman or the man of your dreams or your life, but you can have a great day just because you simply woke up. And everything else that you want to do cannot happen unless that happens first. Last but not least, understand that if you are miserable and you know the support or you know the purpose or you know the reasoning behind your, your misery and you do not remove that in which makes you miserable, you are not a participant. I mean, you are not a victim of your misery. You are a participant. Because if you remove that which makes you miserable, God willing, you will remove your misery. Once again, it's the Capo, CEO of Youth No Mildly. I pray that this message gives someone something. Capo 1.